Welcome back to Fromville, where the mysteries keep piling up and the horrors are just beginning. Today, we'll dive into Season 3, Episode 2 of From, where the stakes are higher than ever and no one is safe. This episode gave us a lot to chew on, from the devastating aftermath of Tian Chen's brutal death to the spine-chilling revelations about Fatima's pregnancy and Jim's terrifying phone call. And let's not forget Tabitha's journey, which takes a mysterious turn that could change the town's fate. If you thought episode one was intense, episode two cranks up the dread to a whole new level. So buckle up as we break down every eerie detail and explain how these events might shape the rest of the season. Warning, major spoilers ahead. The fallout of Tian Chen's death. The emotional fallout of Tian Chen's death sets the tone for this episode. Right from the opening scene, the town is grappling with grief, and Boyd is at the center of it all. His character has always been a fighter, someone who tries to keep it together for the sake of everyone else, but now we see him unraveling. The camera lingers on Boyd as he kneels by Tian Chen's body. His whispered apology, I'm so sorry, is more than just a sign of guilt. It's a reflection of the emotional weight he's carried since arriving in Fromville. His muttering in Chinese adds a haunting layer to the scene, showing how deeply he's affected by the town's endless cycle of death. The funeral that follows is somber and filled with powerful emotions. The muted tones, the overcast sky, and the collective grief create a heavy, suffocating atmosphere. Everyone is visibly shaken, but none more so than Kenny. Having already lost both his parents in Frumville, Tian Chen's death hits him like a tidal wave. As Boyd recounts her final words, we see Kenny crumble, both physically and emotionally. It's one of the most heart-wrenching moments in the episode, reminding us that while Fromville is full of terrifying creatures, uh, the emotional toll of survival is perhaps the scariest part. Boyd, however, channels his grief into determination. His mindset shifts. He's done with just surviving. Now he wants out. Boyd's decision to go on the offensive and take the fight to the creatures could be a game changer for the show. But is he prepared for the consequences? These creatures are far more than just physical threats. They play mind games, manipulate, and always seem to be one step ahead. Boyd's plan is bold, but, but risky, and not everyone in the town agrees with his aggressive strategy. This sets up an intriguing dynamic for future episodes, where we might see the town divided between those who want to fight and those who believe it's better to focus on survival. Jim's creepy phone call. Who's really on the line? Shifting gears, Jim's storyline takes a chilling turn when he receives an unexpected phone call. The sound of static already puts you on edge, but the real shock comes when a voice says, Dad, it's Thomas. For those who don't remember, Thomas is Jim's son, who tragically died before the family arrived in Frumville. This raises a huge question. Is this really Thomas, or are the creatures once again toying with the minds of the residents? We've seen this before, the trick for preying on people's deepest fears and emotions. They seem to enjoy pushing people to the brink of madness, and Jim, already grieving the loss of his wife and struggling to protect his surviving children, is an easy target. One fan theory circulating is that the creatures could be tapping into the psychological trauma of each resident, using it as a tool to manipulate and control them. If this is true, the phone call could be part of a larger plan to break Jim's spirit. But there's also another intriguing theory. Could the boy in white somehow be connected to Thomas? Uh, we've seen that the boy in white isn't just any child. He appears at crucial moments and seems to have some supernatural influence. Could he be behind the phone call? Or is this simply another cruel trick by the creatures? This raises so many questions. What do you think? Could this be a cruel trick or something more supernatural? Uh, let me know your theories in the comments. Fatima's terrifying pregnancy? A Rosemary's baby situation? Now, let's dive into one of the most disturbing plot lines in this episode. Fatima's pregnancy. From the beginning, her pregnancy has been shrouded in ominous signs. She's been sick, spitting up blood, and unable to eat. But things take a darker turn when she encounters the rotting crops poisoned by the town's sickness. While everyone else is repulsed, Fatima starts devouring the poisoned vegetables, a moment so unsettling it raises serious red flags. This, this scene immediately calls to mind classic horror tropes, particularly Rosemary's baby. 
in that film, a woman carries a child that's anything but normal. And there are eerie parallels here. Is Fatima's baby even human or is something far more sinister growing inside her? The fact that Fatima can stomach the poisoned crops suggests her pregnancy is linked to whatever darkness is infecting the town. Could the baby be connected to the creatures? Is this the start of something much darker? The horror intensifies when Fatima's tooth falls out, a shocking moment that hints her body is undergoing a terrifying transformation. Some fans are already drawing comparisons to Rosemary's baby, but could we be looking at something even more ancient or sinister? What's really growing inside her, and how will it impact the town? Drop your theories in the comments below. Tabitha's journey, the chosen one? While all this is happening, Tabitha's storyline takes a dramatic leap forward. After following the address in the lunchbox Victor gave her, she finds herself in Victor's father's house. The set design here is critical. The eerie lighting, the dust-covered furniture, and the dark corners make it feel like this place holds secrets. At first, Victor's father is suspicious of Tabitha, but once she mentions the children trapped in the tower, his attitude shifts. We learn that these visions were also seen by his wife, Miranda, before she mysteriously disappeared. The basement of the house becomes the focal point of this episode, revealing disturbing paintings that depict the town and its creatures, including the boy in white. These paintings seem to confirm that the children trapped in the tower are real, not just figments of Miranda's imagination. Tabitha's realization in this moment is chilling. Her face shows a mix of terror and determination. She knows she's been set up for something bigger. As the episode unfolds, it hints that Tabitha might be the chosen one to break the town's curse. But as we've seen in Fromville, no one is safe, and being chosen might come with a heavy cost. What do you think? Could Tabitha be the town's savior, or will she fall victim to the same fate as others? What's next for Fromville? Looking ahead, Boyd's decision to trap one of the creatures could change everything. But if history has taught us anything, it's that nothing in Fromville is as it seems. Will Boyd's plan succeed, or will it backfire, putting the entire town in more danger? Kenny's support for Boyd's plan adds an interesting dynamic. He's clearly driven by revenge. But will that cloud his judgment or push him toward even more drastic actions? Let me know your thoughts on Boyd's bold move. Fatima's pregnancy will likely take an even darker turn. What's really growing inside her and how will it affect the town? And of course, Jim's eerie phone call is bound to spiral into something much more terrifying. Is this the creature's next move or just another mind game? Finally, Tabitha's role as the potential savior of Fromville raises more questions. Can she unlock the town's secrets and free its residents, or will she meet the same fate as those before her? Could she be the key to Fromville's survival, or is she walking into a deadly trap? And that's a wrap on Season 3, Episode 2 of From. This episode packed in so many twists and turns, and it's clear that the mysteries of Fromville are only deepening. What do you think is really happening with Fatima's pregnancy? Is Jim truly communicating with Thomas, or are the creatures pulling the strings? And what role will Tabitha play in the town's fate? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay updated on all future breakdowns. This is just the beginning of what looks to be the darkest season of From Yet. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. See you next time as we continue to unravel the dark secrets lurking in Fromville. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.